Um, just, you know, stop. I mean, just been disciplined at what I eat and doing extra work after my workouts, you know, at least two hours of cardio after both of my workouts. Talk about how tough that is because it's tough for any individual to have to be disciplined like you said. Yeah, I mean, you know, the main thing is you got to be motivated and stuff. I mean, because you're not, I mean, if you say you're going to do it and you get up there and, and it's getting hard and stuff, you're going to quit. But I'm, I'm just, I just motivate myself, you know, after all the critics said, uh, after the senior bowl, that, you know, I'm not going to do it. I'm not disciplined. I'm like another Andre. You know, I took that kind of personal and came in the combine light and then showed up today light. Do you feel the difference when you're doing that? I feel, the, I mean, it's a big difference. You know, I move a lot better. Is money a good motivator? I mean, it is, but, you know, I just like to play football. I mean, you see, you know, when, when I was in college and stuff, how, how much fun I had on the field and stuff, you know, I just like to play football. Do you feel better about the way things are going as compared to when you left the combine? I mean, I feel a lot better. I mean, I felt, you know, I accomplished a lot ever since the Senior Bowl. And, I mean, everything's just been going up. You know, I've just been hearing a lot of positive things from everybody. Tell me somebody say that it wasn't necessarily about the number, but it was about the commitment, uh, what you weighed in at, at the combine in here. How do you feel about that statement? Um, I mean, it's a true statement, you know. You got to be committed to do it. And, and, and it showed that I was committed to do it. I, sh- you know, showed up light and showed up light again. I mean, I'm, they know that I'm committed and they, you know, they feel I'm disciplined and they can count on me. What else are they talking to you about besides weight out here? Because everybody's asking about that. But what else are they talking uh, it's, about? You know, I heard a little thing about, you know, conditioning, getting ready for, you know, when I get drafted and then showing up to mini camp and stuff and just see, you know, how good a conditioning I am. And, what do you do between now and, and the draft? Do you stay? Do you keep working No, I'm out? keep working. Yeah, um, my agent extended my stay. The where I'm working out at API, so I'm gonna keep working until the draft. How low do you think you need? You gotta keep going low. Or I, are you I feel like I keep going. I feel I'd be a lot better at 340, but you know it depends on what teams want me at. Terrence, what were your 40 times today? Huh? What were your 40 times um, today? I think it was a 5-4. Are you happy with that? Um, I'm all right with. It. I mean, that's pretty fast for a guy my size. Okay. And you got 30, did I hear right? You got 32 reps? No, I got 22. I messed up. Um, I was going oh, so sorry, fast sorry. and stuff. I started, you know, kind of like power cleaning the weight and stuff. But uh, I could have got 30. So you think right now, first round, second round? I'm, I'm thinking first round, very high, um, high. I mean, very low in the pick, you know, probably first, top 10 or top 15. I mean, I feel like, you know, I kind of shocked a lot of people today and had to calm on it. So. Where are you going to be on draft day? Um, I don't know. I mean, if I get a uh, email, I can come to New York. I'll be in New York. <laughs> but, uh, um, but draft day, I'll probably be at Coach Saban House doing my draft party and stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Terrence. All right.